Hi there, um, it's Sandra, and I've got my Galaxy tablet here in front of me. Normally I'd be doing this on my computer, but I'm just having connectivity issues today, so I figured the tablet would be easier. I have an app called MailChimp. You can use the MailChimp app, or you can go directly to MailChimp.com. Um, this brings me straight to the, the, the dashboard, because I'm already logged in, but if you, you, you need to log in, email me. And I'll give you the pit password and the, the um, wildflowers uh, information. So, um, strongly recommend you have only one application open at a time. It helps, um, especially if you have internet connection problems like I do. Um, and uh, so, let's see, we're at the dashboard. So, you see that we have a new subscriber. I'm going to go to um, campaigns because we're going to create a new campaign. Um, you can see the old campaigns this way. Um, how do we create a new campaign? Well, there is usually a button somewhere that says create a new campaign. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I think uh, I might need to go to my website. So, I am wrong, apparently. Okay, so I forgot this about um, the, the difference between the app and the online website is that you can't create campaigns from the app. And that's a, a big flaw, but that's okay. I can still get to the website, so I'm going to go to Chrome, and I'm going to open MailChimp from there. So, the the good thing about the, the app, though, once you do create the um, MailChimp, and by the way, MailChimp is a is um, a tool that you want to use when you want to send mail to more than a hundred people. Um, you know, if you have lists of like 500 people, especially or more, it's going to be very helpful because you don't want to have to worry about your server, your uh, Gmail or whatever server is going to crash because you try to send too many emails. So um, we're going to log in again here, top right, and I'm going to dial in my information. Um, it's already dialed in because I've done this before. Let's log myself in. Great. So it's hard to read. There it is. Great campaign. We're going to click on that and on top right. Um, sometimes this thing's a little slow because my connection's slow. I'm hoping it's working. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so yeah, um, there you go. You can see the spinning thing. Yeah, it was just slow. Um, so I always choose regular. You can always experiment with the other ones, but I always choose regular. So we're going to do that regular. Um, and then the, the best thing, the easiest way to go is go to saved or pre, pre... Oh wait, actually, no, let's go back to the entire list. I want to see what we're looking at here. Because we're talking about subscribers there. I was thinking of something else. So we are going to send it to the entire list of people. Um, I didn't never use the other thing with this. But you can see in the bottom right corner it says next step setup. So I'm going to set this up. And it's still uh, slowly moving there. Okay, Com campaign name. I'm going to call this, since it's October 15th, so let's call this mid-October. Oops. Meeting and excuse my typos. Yeah, I will fix them later. Mm, it says middle cover meaty. <laughs> so we're going to write it again over there. Uh, it'll let me in. Okay. Uh, so this it's giving us a warning. And this is because my from address under email is actually at a Gmail address. When, it gives, when you give them a Gmail address, they suspect it might be a phony email. So what you want to do is just erase that. Um, and change it to make sure we're in the right place here. There it is. Yeah. So I'm gonna erase it and go to S Chang at D Hirsch. Um, you can you can use my email address when you get in here. That's fine. And um, then we'll, let's go back up. And I just want to make sure to change the email subject. Right now it says support group. You want to be a little more specific than that. What just happened? Okay. <laughs> so we have some connectivity issues again. Um, 
Or maybe it's just me. Anyway, um, there's always problems because it's got to bear with them. Um, if this if this process ever takes you more than half an hour, I definitely recommend take a break. Um, it will it will save what it saves, and you just come back and you use what you learned from the last time, and it makes it faster. So just keep that in mind. Um, Mailchimp, you can even sleep on it. I sometimes do that when it's really bugging me. No, I don't want to call it Mailchimp. Sorry, mid October, mid. October, October meeting. Okay, let's go next. And um, so I'm just gonna. Oh, we did this again. So when we went went back like I did, I um, accidentally erased that. Sorry. We're gonna delete that again. We're gonna add this in there. Okay. Now we're ready to move down the, the um, page. I just want to make sure everything is um, what we want. I do want to auto post to Facebook after sending. It'll give it automatically the name that we've given it. I want to add it to the Wildflowers Movement fan page, and I'll do it for my own page too, because I don't want my friends knowing that I'm a support group leader. So now we go to next template, bottom right corner. Okay, and uh, let's see, what am I doing now? Okay, so I like to go to Saved Campaigns because that saves us a little trouble knowing that we have a few things that are already um, templated. I'm just going to use the simplest format, so I'm going to use this Yom Kippur Gathering one because it's just text and, and a simple image. And that's all we need for this reminder. So hopefully, you can always change it to another one if you want to add more information, but for now, um, this is fine. And then... Um, here we have on the left side the um, image. It's actually an image and not the text, if you if you know what I mean, of what you're sending. And on the right side is how you edit it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this part so that we know that we want to edit it. We're gonna hit the edit button, and then it brings us to the right side. And um, how do we do this again? Okay, I did this wrong. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, let me turn it this way. Sometimes that helps because yeah, there we go. So now we have more space. And you can see the, the whole page. Now, if you were on a, a laptop or a computer, you wouldn't have this problem because I'm on a tablet. It makes it a smaller screen and I don't see the whole image. But you can see now you can edit it from the right side of the page. And we're going to make sure that the dates are right. Right now it's saying October 7th. I mean, August 7th. We want it to say, let's see what day is today. October. I think it's going to be October 15th, right? I'm not sure. Let's just put in 15th for now, and I'll change it later if I find out it's wrong. Um, and everything else looks right. This is the Serenity Room. That's right. Let's close that. So that was our preview. I'm going to click on the p image again on the left side. Hopefully it let me do that. Actually, I'm going to turn it like this so I can get to it better. And, oh yeah, there's this little button here so that it moves to the right and left. Um, and then, you blossom from within. That's actually... A set of editable words and I like those words so I'm not going to change them but you can see that you could have edited it if you wanted to so I'm going to click that button on the right to have it back to the right we're going to move down here so you can see that this is an image um, if we were to edit it you could see that it's an image like that it's a business card image we're going to move it to the right next part here so this is exactly where we really need the, the meat of the um, editing. So this is, um, I'm gonna say whatever you want to say. I'm gonna just do the regular meeting, not the old, just regular Sunday meeting. Um, with, uh, let's say, instead of with inspired sex, with inspired um, stories. At share, not to share. And then make sure to change the date. October. Oops. And this would be, um, we'll just say 15th because I don't remember. And uh, let's save and close. Okay, actually, we, there was more to, to do. I just didn't uh, check it out yet. So underneath it says to get involved with something, please call us. Uh, sounds good. Um, Okay, 
I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's close that. And let's move that to the right so you can see more. Make sure there's nothing else we're missing. That's it. We're done. Okay, let's go to the next step. Confirm on the bottom right. And let's hope that that's right. Okay. So at this point, what I would suggest you do, if you're not sure it's good, then what you're going to do instead of um, sending, we could either hit schedule so that it, it gives you a little time or um, even before that, let's go back to the design. I think it was there. There should be a preview button. Um, am I wrong? Is it down here? No, it's in the last tab. So we are going to the last tab for a second. And there should be a preview button on the top right. Yes, preview and test right here. Um, so we're going to click on the preview and test. And we're going to send a test email. Um, and I'm going to make sure it's given to the right people. So that's you, me, and um, Vicky. That's right. I think we're good. Uh, let me just make sure it says what we need to say. Uh, there we go. Okay, didn't get it there. Send a test email. I guess it did. Um, okay, so usually I'm used to it saying like, yes, it's sent or something like that, but I didn't see anything this time. Um, so I'm going to check my email just to make sure it's sent, but I think we're done. Um, next step confirmed. So you just want to save it at this point. Um, instead of sending you could you could schedule it like I said before so if you hit the schedule button it gives you a certain amount of time and I will set it to um, what today is the oh, okay so it was actually the 16th probably let me just check the date here yeah it's the 16th so I'm gonna go back and edit that for the 16th and then we're pretty much ready to, to schedule it once we do that so this is very forgiving you can always go back um use the back button but usually it's better to use the back the buttons on the from the page itself um which i'm not finding yet <laughs> but i will use the back button here okay sorry that this is so wobbly i i would normally be doing this on my computer but i'm having issues okay so we're looking at this one more time and changing all the dates to the 16th uh Okay, here we go, delete, six, save and close, here we go again, where is that, there we go, uh, okay, very good, okay, so now we're saving and closing, and next up, confirm, are we hitting it, yeah, it's just slow. And we're ready to send. So instead of sending, what I'm going to do is schedule it. Wherever it went. <laughs> Did I schedule it yet? Oh, there it is. Okay, so the schedule date is here. Scroll down to it. Um, that's today. And I do want to send it today, but it's only half an hour from now. Let's make it um, 4 o'clock. So that I my recipients will be able to have some time to think about it. I'm going to schedule my campaign, and you know, there are plenty of options I haven't tried before, but once you schedule that campaign, this animation comes up, you're good to go, and um, anybody else who wants to edit this will have to pause it before they can edit it. Um, so the, this, this action is going on where it's um, going to deliver itself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope it was helpful. Um, I'll try to write down the, the instructions at some point too so that it's not just a verbal but also a written reminder of how you do this. Okay, have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Hope to see you on Sunday.